Hello viewers, today I present you Alfred Hubbard self-powered generator or better known as Hubbard coil. So not to waste time, let's get to the drawings and see what I prepared for you. Okay, now you can see the, <coughs> the generator. It's very simple in design. <laughs> it cannot be more simpler if you ask me. Um, in total you have, uh, as you can see from the image, you have eight coils. Yeah? Eight coils. In, in the middle you have one another with bigger diameter. And inside of this bigger one there is, uh, you can see these rods. So this is the soft iron rods yeah? for magnetization. And I will explain later uh, what they are necessary for. Yeah? That's it. In the whole system, additional to that there is a DC source, which I put to be a battery and the pulse generator, yeah? so this small cube here which has some pulse, so this should be a pulse generator, so basically if you can see, so we should send the pulse DC current to the system. Yeah? Uh, these eight coils are connected in series, I did not indicate that on the drawings, but basically uh, one, when one ends here, it connects to the other side here, then one, this ends here, it connects to the other side here. And that's it. So these eight rods are connected in series and also the, the middle one, the bigger one. Yeah? So what this system does and how we get the free energy uh, from this system. Yeah? Uh, as Mr. Hubbard, his invention was never fully disclosed to the public, so patent is not available, but uh, through the uh, transmission through generations, uh, people have um, <coughs> found that this works in this way. Yeah? We are sending the pulse DC current to the coils and what this uh, does in the coils. In this, uh, when we send the pulse signals to the, to the system, we get uh, uh, this soft iron magnetic core will become became magnetized. Yeah? So, so that's why it's necessary. And uh, if you know the, the curve of magnetization, the iron has in the middle steep part yeah, where for the small amount of current we get a big uh, magnetic flux. Yeah? So that, that's the, the curve of mag magnetization. And, and that's the idea. Yeah? So he believes, so Hubbard demonstrated this a long time ago, that uh, if he connects only small time uh, the, the uh, DC uh, input with this pulsing signal, he will get an output which is bigger than input. Yeah. I personally do not believe that, but uh, it does have sense because of this magnetization. And uh, uh, when you read more about this, uh, basically uh, you need, in my opinion, whole time these pulse signals and you will get on these two, com two uh, contacts over here output. Yeah. So, so I can see, uh, so there is a housing, it's not an open, I just uh, for the purpose of demonstration created this uh, transparent, yeah? there is a housing and, and this is a support for housing, but um, this is it, yeah? uh, as Mr. Hubbard, say, Hubbard says and uh, his followers that basically you should get uh, constant free el electricity for such a system. Yeah? Um, it's really difficult, there's many videos online which are trying to replicate this uh, Hubbard coil and Hubbard system and uh, none of them seems to work like it's sh it should, yeah? so that you basically get a free energy and that you not spend more uh, input energy than you will get an output energy on this uh, from this system. Yeah? So that's it, yeah? that, that's it. I. It, there is no many data available, so I cannot be sure uh, in, in all the details, but this is how it looks like. Yeah? Uh, and this is how, if you try to uh, try to replicate it, this is how it should look like in the end. Yeah? Okay, viewers, so that was a uh, Hubbard coil, well-known patent. You have many of them, you can search for them. And for now, this is it. Until next video, please stay tuned on my channel. Bye-bye.